Leah Howard, welcome to the Val Drabibi Show. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you so much for being here. You're going to be talking about a, a topic that uh, I sent out an email that you were coming, uh, I think Monday or Tuesday, the uh, team sent it out, and I was really surprised that the number of people said they're so excited to hear the information that you'll be talking about on psoriasis. I didn't know so many people felt that they were impacted by this condition. You know, that's uh, that's wonderful to hear. Psoriasis actually impacts about 8 million individuals in the United States, and we're part of the 125 million individuals worldwide that live with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. That's about 3% of the adult population. So I think it's a lot more prevalent than many people realize. It is, and some extremely, and um, this is nothing to the other people, but some extremely attractive people weighed in and said that they were sufferers of this so long, and I would have never thought that. But can you tell me about your relationship uh, or, or between psoriasis and how stress has contributed to that? Yes. So psoriasis is a chronic, systemic, immune-mediated disease, and we know that it is associated with inflammation. Although we don't know exactly what causes psoriasis, we do know that genes likely play a role. And then there's a number of other common triggers, one of which is stress. So psoriasis is, as I said, connected to inflammation, and so is stress. And so it's so important that we're having this conversation today and talking about how to better manage both your stress and your psoriasis. Because unfortunately, the National Psoriasis Foundation did a study in June of 2022, and what we heard is that one in three people living with psoriasis are depressed. And so managing the stress and managing their psoriasis is so important. Oh, my audience to know that Leah Howard is, the, Howard is the newly appointed president and CEO of the National Psoriasis Foundation. Leah, what are some of the common signals and symptoms of psoriasis? So every individual's experience with psoriasis is going to be unique, just like we are all unique. Psoriasis is going to present a little different person to person. So if you're someone who has more fair skin, such as me, your psoriasis may appear to be red or silvery and appear as kind of a, a flaky, patchy scale. If you're someone with darker skin, your psoriasis may appear as a little bit more purple or brown. The reality is anyone can be diagnosed with psoriasis at any age from any background. Although we are all um, living with the same disease, it's going to present in different ways for each of us. Commonly, you see it on the elbows, knees, and scalp. When you go to your doctor and he, um, he says that you have psoriasis, how do you manage this? You know, and... and I'm hoping doctors listen because, you know, they're giving out these diagnoses so nonchalantly, and they don't they don't understand when someone sits in and says, oh, you've got psoriasis, oh, you've got cancer. They don't seem to understand the stress impact upon us. That is so important because, as you said, psoriasis is something that is connected to stress. And so that stress can, as I mentioned, lead to both the initial onset of the disease. It can also lead to worsening symptoms. And so we want to work with our, our healthcare professionals to both manage the stress and manage your psoriasis. So I wanna offer your listeners five tips today. The first is working with a healthcare provider to find that treatment that's going to be most appropriate for them. Because our disease is different, we want to take advantage of the right therapy for each of us wherever we are in our disease journey. The second tip I would offer is to get a good night's sleep. We know the impact of a full night's sleep on our health, and so getting those Zs, prioritizing that good night's sleep is important. The third tip that I would offer is to eat a healthy diet. Again, remembering the connection between psoriasis and inflammation. Diet is one of those things that we can do to better manage our overall health, as well as both our stress and our psoriasis. So fruits, vegetables, proteins, whole grains, all important part of a healthy diet. The fourth recommendation I have is to get some moderate physical exercise. 
physical exercise on a regular basis improves mood, certainly. It also is helpful in reducing the risks that we have of developing comorbidities. Those are things like cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and those are all connected with psoriasis. And so if you both get physical activity for your, your stress level, it can bring that down and it can also help to reduce the risk of developing those comorbidities connected with psoriasis. Finally, Man. I would encourage your listeners to, to develop a good support system. Please go ahead. No, go, you, you finish. So a wonderful support system can help you wherever you are on your disease journey. Friends, family members, and the National Psoriasis Foundation are all here for you to help support you wherever you are and get to a place where your disease is better managed. There are options, there are treatments, and there are ways to both reduce your stress as well as to get your psoriasis to a place of being clear. Leah, uh, one of my audience members weighed in uh, with the perfect question. They want to know, uh, is a dermatologist the person recommended to deal with psoriasis or what kind of doctor? Yes, a dermatologist is the best place to start to get that diagnosis of psoriasis. If you don't have a dermatologist, the National Psoriasis Foundation has a healthcare provider directory up on our website. We encourage you to visit that to f find a dermatologist in your area. Uh, and we encourage you to work with them, again, to find the treatment that's going to be most appropriate for you. Leah, this is great information. And once again, that website where my audience goes, because I think they need that. Yes, we invite you to visit us at the National Psoriasis Foundation website at psoriasis.org slash solutions. That's psoriasis spelled P-S-O-R-I-A-S-I-S dot -S org. Your solution is waiting. Please visit our website today to get on your journey to better health. Leah, I feel you've just really informed so many people on the Valder BB show. They will be using this, hopefully, and spreading the news. Thank you so much for being my guest on the Valder BB show. I appreciate this. Thank you so much for having me.